Uh, so first, let's read the problem. In Centerville, 45% of the population is female and 60% of the population commutes to work daily. Of the total Centerville population, 21% are females who commute to work daily. What percentage of the total Centerville population are males who do not commute to work daily? Okay, so we're given two things that we need to look at here. Uh, first, we know for a fact that we have people that commute, and that is 60%. And we also have people who are female, and they are 40%. 5% of the total Centerville population. You can't really compare these to each other quite yet. But one thing that we know, that if 60% of the Centerville population commutes, that means that 40% no commute. They either work from home or they don't have jobs or whatever. And if 45% of the population is female, then we can make the rational assumption that 55% of the population is male. Okay. Then they give us a last piece of information. Uh, Twenty-one percent of the females who commute who are females who commute to work daily. Okay. So let's visualize this Centerville population here, and let's just assume there's a big bucket with the entire Centerville population in it. Okay. So uh, sixty percent of the people commute. So let's say it's right about here. And this will be the commute, and this will be no commute. Okay, and this is 60%, and this is 40%. Cool. So 21% are females who commute. So they're going to be in the commute section, and it's going to be about this big. And this is 21% percent of females who commute okay so this is all the information that we're given and we need to find out men who do not commute so how are we going to do that well looking at this if 21 percent of the population is females who commute well we know that 60 percent total of the population needs to commute so who could be the remaining commuters men and they would need to be 39 percent that's men. And this entire thing adds up to 60. So it makes quite a bit of sense, right? So 55% of the population is men. 39% of that population commutes to work. So what's left of the male population? Well, we take our 55%. We subtract the amount of men that commute. six, four, and we are left with 16%. So that's our answer. Bang, right there. Uh, F. Th this, this proved a little tricky while I was going through it for the first time, to be honest, bros. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and uh, then you're going to be smart. You're going to feel your brain getting bigger as you watch this. So hold on to your seats. We got a table for prices for ad space. And then this is what it says. The table above shows prices for newspaper advertising. A store purchased fourth pages, half pages, and full pages of space, an equal number for a total of 11500 What is the total amount of page space the store purchased? Okay, so the big thing here is that they bought the page space in equal numbers. Okay, that means they bought an equal number of these, these, and these. So the only information that we're given is the total amount of money they spent. So we can make a little bit of an equation to find it. Because what if they bought one of each? They bought a $200, a $300, $350, I mean, and a $600. What does that equal if they bought one of each? Um, bang. Okay. So this is if they bought one. But we don't know how many they bought. In fact, if they bought two, we can multiply this by two. If they bought three of each, we can multiply this by three. And that's why I'm going to multiply it by X. Because we don't know how many of these they bought. A little bit of algebra for you. So we know that this $1,150 times however many of those they bought needs to equal the total amount they spent. Which is, well, look at that, right? 
So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 1150, 1150. And what x ends up equaling is 10. Okay, so that's super important. I almost circled it, but it's not the answer. This is <laughs> super important. And then notice, just, just, just notice that they have 10 as a trick answer. Being like, oh, you're done. Well, you just solved for how many of each they bought. They bought 200 of these, 200 of, or I'm sorry, they bought 100 of these, 100 of these, and 100, no. They bought 10 of these, and 10 of these, and 10 of these. 10, right? That's our multiplier. But the answer is not 10. We got to find out, what are they asking? how much page space the store purchased. So we need to figure out, because we have fourth page, we have half page, and we have full page. And we bought 10 of these, we bought 10 of these, and we bought 10 of these. And that will equal the total page space. Cool? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the math here. We have 10 over four plus 10 over two plus 10, and that equals our total page space. I'm going to call that our TPS. So uh, just keep in mind when multiplying, you just multiply the numerators, leave the denominator alone, because this is like 10 over 1, you just multiply across, remember. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this so that it has a base of 2, and what we end up getting is 5 over 2 plus 10 over 2, and I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2 so that I can get a nice fraction addition problem and now we have all of our denominators the same i can add it up so what this equals would be 35 over 2 and if you were to uh simplify that because they have them in this form what that would be it'd be 17 and one half so that is our answer d cool a large container is partially filled with n liters of water. Ito adds 10 liters of water to the container, making it 60% full. If Ito adds six more liters of water, the container will be 75% full. What is the value of n? So I'm gonna draw a, a kind of a, a container so that we can start visualizing the information. So at first, it has n liters of water in it. Then Ito adds 10 liters to it. So let's say he adds 10 liters to it, and now it's up here. And up here is 60%, okay? Then Ito adds six more liters. I guess I should have specified that that is a liter. And once he adds six more liters, it is at 75 percent. What is the original amount of liters in the container? So our key here, the key to solving this is this gap right in here between the 60 and 75 because we know that that gap is six liters. We know it's six liters and we know that it's 15 percent. So how much percentage is each liter added? Well each liter added is 15 over six percent. And that can simplify. So each liter added is 5 over 2 percent, right? Because I divided both by 3. So this is how much percentage each liter is when we add it in. And this is important because now we can work our way backwards to get to n. So after 10 liters, we're at 60 percent. What is the percentage that we're at before we add the 10 liters? Well, we have to find out how much percentage 10 liters equals. So we take that 10 liters, we multiply it by the amount of percent each liter is, and that will give us the amount of percent total. So I'm gonna simplify, uh, I'm gonna simplify this. So it's five times five and equals 25%. So in this gap, from here to here is 25%. So what percentage point are we right here? Well, 60 minus that 25, let's do that right here. 60 minus the 25, five, five, four, that's now five, so we're at 35. So this level is 35%. So when we had N liters of water in it, that means that the container was at 35%. So now we need to figure out 
how many liters of water that is. And we're going to use this number once again, because N, the amount that's in there, times how much percentage each liter is, will equal 35%. Cool. Just like in this, we found the percentage the same way. So what that means is we're going to have to do some multiplication because this would be 5N over 2 equals 35. So the first thing we do is multiply each side by 2, by 2. So then 5N equals uh, 70, yes, 70. Okay, cool. So now we divide both sides by 5 to get N by itself. And 70 divided by 5, 1, 5, 2, bring down that 2, 20, 14. So that means that N is 14 liters. That's our answer. And that is E. Make sure that we're answering the question. Great. Our answer is E, 14 liters. Cool. So that's how you do this one. It, it's a pretty tricky one. I, I hope this all makes sense to you. Uh, yeah, and if you have any other questions about the, the math section or whatever, hit me up. As always, like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and uh, yeah, have a good one, homies.